Mga posibleng tanong na maaaring lumabas ngayong darating na Philippine Nursing Licensure Examination ng alay ko sa inyo for today. 15. Board exam type of questions that will cover your foundation of nursing practice. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing videos every seven days. Don't miss that out. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more content like this without further ado nurses let's jump into the video hi everybody welcome back to my channel and you guys wherever you are right now whatever time zone you're watching me right now i just wish you good morning good afternoon and good night just in case i don't get to see you isang panibagong nursing test banking video nga ang ali ko sa inyo for today dahil dahil alam ko na nalalapit na marami sa inyo ang talaga namang naghahanda sa darating na board exam natin dyan sa pinas gumawa ako ng panibagong PNLE um, nursing test banking entry natin for this week. Before we further proceed with this topic, I would just like to, or this video, I would just like to really grab this opportunity to thank every one of you who are really supporting my nursing test banking videos. And I may not reply to all of you guys, but I just want you to know that hina heart ko po yun, and I really, really, really do appreciate all of you. I see you. Medyo mahaba nga po itong video clip na ito because on this video we are going to um we are going to discuss or I'm gonna give you 15 board exam type of questions na maaring mong ma encounter ngayong darating na board exam. This is PNLE1, which is your foundation of nursing practice. Exciting, hindi ba? Ngayon kung hindi mo pa napapa no yung other nursing test banking videos na ginawa ko along with the other videos I created uh, for your nursing education playlist I'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button kapag nagpapot yan kasi nandiyan sila lahat kasama nung ibang mga playlist ko sa nursing and also let me grab this opportunity to please please follow subscribe and share my Facebook page uh, the link to my Facebook page is also on the description box Kaya, handa na ba kayo? Handa na ba kayo sa panibagong exam? By the way, let me just remind you, ha? Huh? The purpose of this video or the purpose uh, every time we do a nursing test backing video, I want you to understand that your score doesn't matter. The one thing that I want you to take away out from this video is really the rationalization because that is the intention why we are doing nursing test banking videos kasi para sa pagdarating na board exam, once na ma-encounter mo sila ulit, you are uh, aware and you know exactly what is the reason why that is the right answer. Kaya naman, hindi ko na patatagalin pa. Wag na tayong magpatumpik-tumpik pa. Ilaba na natin to. Let me switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome back sa ating formal discussion ng iyong foundation of nursing practice. Now this is another entry natin sa ating nursing test banking where I created um, Q&As for... Uh, to help those upcoming test takers uh, that are taking the board exam, Philippine uh, licensure examination. Now, kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung other lecture materials, yung other videos na kriniit ko sa nursing test banking, napakarami na po nila. I-click mo lang yung icon button kapag nagpapout yun kasi ilalagay ko yung uh, links ng playlist or i-check out mo yung description box kasi naandun sila lahat kasama ng ibang mga um, lecture materials natin sa nursing. Now, let this be your nursing study guide sa paghahanda mo sa darating na board exam. Ito na tayo, PNLE1 nga po, Philippine Nursing Licensure Examination 1. So, kagaya ng mga una nating um, um, lectures or nursing test banking, may dalawa lagi tayong objectives. The first one, I will going to provide you uh, and discuss to you board exam type of questions. And then, I'm going to provide rationalization for each board exam type of questions. Now, if there's anything that I want you to take out from this uh, video, that is the rationalization. Why? Because the moment that you know that that is the right answer, kahit na pekutikuting ka sa mga tanong, alam mo kung bakit yun yung tanong. Kasi sa mga, bakit yun, yun yung sagot, excuse me. Dahil sa board exam, kadalasan na, na, 
na re-recycle yung mga uh, questions na iba lang na anyo, na iba ng itsura. Pero, the moment that you know what is the reason why is that the answer, you will definitely be 100% sure na sa araw ng board exam, kapag na-encounter mo yung ganitong klase ng scenario, ganitong klase ng tanong, alam mo na yun yung sagot. So, um, pakilagay po yung mga scores sa baba. Kasi I would like to evaluate the, uh, the scores of my students afterwards, okay? Now, let me provide to you the instructions for today's test. You will be given 15 board exam type of questions. I'll be reading the questions and the choices for you. You have 5 seconds to answer each question. The answer is revealed instantly after each question with rationaliza uh, rationalization. Bakit ba nabubulol pa ako? Choose the letter of the correct answers. Good luck, nurses. Ngayon, handa na ba kayo? Handa na, handa na. O, hinga, hinga, ha? Take this exam as if you are, or this video, as if you are taking the actual board exam, okay? So, let's begin. Quest board exam type of question number one. Which instruction should Nurse Tom give to a male client who is having external radiation therapy? Ano daw ang instruction na ibibigay mo? Change ko lang ng pet. Instruction or health teachings mo sa male client mo nagre-receive ng external radiation therapy. Is it A, protect the irritated skin from sunlight? Is it B, eat 3 to 4 hours before treatment? Is it C, wash the skin overly, uh, over regularly? Or D, apply lotion or oil to the radiated area when it is red or sore? Your 5 seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. What is your answer? Nakatama ba? Pampalaki charm. Unang sagot, letter A. Yes. Protect the irritated skin from the sunlight. Bakit? What is the rationalization? Irradiated skin is very sensitive and must be protected with clothing or sunblock. The priority approach is the avoidance of strong sunlight. Yes, uh, may photosensitive and um, po ang mga pasyenteng nag-underwent na or nag-undergo na external radiation therapy. So, um, skin protection is a must. Nakuha yon, nakuha. Proceed na tayo. Board exam type of question number two in assisting a female client with immediate surgery or for immediate surgery. The nurse in charge is aware that she should. So, ang tinatanong dito is yung perioperative care. Naalala mo yon? So, is it A, encourage the client to avoid following preoperative medication? Is it B, explore the client's fears and anxieties about the surgery? Is it C, assist the client in removing dentures and nail polish? Or D, encourage the client to drink water prior to surgery? Drink water prior to surgery? Ano bang kadalasan na instruction mo sa pasyente mo? Hindi ba NPO sa kalingkit ha? Your 5 seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. What is your answer? Very good. Letter C. Assist the client in removing dentures and nail polish. Dentures, hairpins, and combs must be removed. Nail polish must be removed so that cyanosis can be easily monitored by observing the nail beds. Unang-una sa lahat, maling-mali itong D. Hindi mo sila papakainin. Itong encourage the client to void following preoperative medication. Pwede naman kasi we all normally instruct our clients to void prior to surgery, not preoperative medication. B, explore the client's fears and anxieties. Between B and C, C is the right answer. Okay, because sa board exam, tat, lagi kang tinatanong, lahat ng choices ay tama. Kadalasan ganon. Lahat ng choices ay tama. Anin doon yung best? Malino yon? Malina. Board exam type of question number three. A male client is admitted and diagnosed with acute pancreatitis. This is your case, nurses. After a holiday celebration of excessive food and alcohol, which assessment finding reflects this diagnosis? Alin daw? Alin daw dito ang magpapakita ng acute pancreatitis? Is it A, blood pressure above normal range? B, presence of crackles in both lungs? C, hyperactive bowel sounds? Or D, sudden onset of continuous epigastric and back pain? Your 5 seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. What is your answer? Letter D. 
perfect. Sudden onset of continuous epigastric and back pain. The auto digestion of tissue by pancreatic enzymes results in pain from inflammation, edema, and possible hemorrhage. Continuous unrelieved epigastric or back pain reflects the inflammatory process in the pancreas. So pancreatitis itis inflammation may pain kaya dito may inflammation kaya dito may edema kaya dito yes kaya ang tamang sagot dito na magre-reflect or manifestation ng acute pancreatitis mo is sudden onset of continuous epigastric and back pain nakuha yon nakuha for exam type of question number 4 which dietary guidelines are important for nurses oliver Nurse Oliver to implement in caring for the client with burns. So ano daw ang ipapakain mo sa pasyente mong may burns? Yun lang yung tanong, ano ang diet recommendation sa mga pasyente diagnosed with burns? Is it A, provide high fiber and high fat diet? B, provide high protein, high carbohydrate diet? C, monitor intake to prevent weight gain? Or D, provide ice chips or water intake? Your 5 seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. What is your answer? Very good. Letter B. Provide high protein and high carbohydrate diet. Why? A positive nitrogen balance is important for meeting metabolic needs. Uh, needs. Tissue repair and resistance to infection. Caloric goals may be as high as 5,000 calories per day. That is the reason why B is the answer. Next, board exam type of question number five. Nurse Hazel will administer a unit of whole blood. Which priority information should the nurse have about the client? Administration to BT. Blood transfusion ng whole blood. Alin dito ang priority information mo as a nurse tungkol sa pasyente mo? That is the question. Is it A, blood pressure and pulse rate? B, weight and height, C, calcium and potassium levels, or D, hemoglobin and hematocrit levels. Your five seconds starts now. Nurses, basic, ha? Huh? Oo, oh, kadalasan, yes, tama itong D, hemoglobin and hematocrit levels. Tama lahat yan. Pero, if sometimes sa tanong, foundation, yung fundamentals. Siyempre, letter A is the answer, blood pressure and pulse rate. Why? The baseline must be established to recognize the signs of an anaphylactic or hemolytic reaction to the transfusion. Di ba nagpibago ka mag-BT, nagba-vital signs ka? Depende sa SOP ng hospital nyo. Dito sa amin, we follow 30 minutes or hindi ako nagkakamali 15 minutes prior to the actual BT and then 15, minute, uh, 15 minutes after 30 minutes monitoring, then one hour. Okay? So, ganun. Depende sa SOP, sa hospital protocols nyo. Pero, ang sagot dito is pinaka-basic, blood pressure and uh, pulse rate. Because that is your baseline vital signs. Board exam type of question number 6. Nakakarami na ba kayo ng tamang sagot? Nako, make it count, ha? Pang-anim na to. Nurse Michelle witnesses a female client sustain a fall and suspect that the leg may be broken. The nurse takes which priority action? Leg may be broken, so fall ang situation natin dito. Anong gagawin mo kapag nakakita ka ng klienteng or ng isang patient who is um, uh, enduring or suffering or who had just fall? Anong nurse priority action, priority intervention? Are you gonna take A, are you gonna take a set of vital signs? B, call the radiology department for x-ray? C, Reassure the client that everything will be alright or D. Immobilize the leg before moving the client. Your 5 seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. What is your answer? Perfect. Letter D. Immobilize the leg before moving the client. If the nurse suspects a fracture, splinting, the area before moving the client is imperative. Imperative. The nurse should call for emergency help if the client is not hospitalized and call for a physician for the hospitalized client. Nakuha yon, Nakuha. Immobilization nga ng area. Ano ba yung area na tinutukoy dito sa situation sa tanong? Hindi ba leg? So immobilize the leg before moving the patient. Then you can follow up with checking your vital signs. Then um, call the radiology department for x-ray. Depends kung mayroon ng doctor, uh, doctor's order. Then reassure the client that everything will be alright. So that's how you're gonna prioritize these actions. All of these are right actually. But in terms of prioritization, which one will you do first?
That is the question. I want you to really, um, what's this? Um, learn or learn, uh, learn that skill of critical thinking in terms of prioritization. That's how you're going to make it in, you know, all types of exams you're going to be encountering with your nursing life. Okay. So, marami na ba yan? Marami na ba kayong natatamang sagot? Okay, I, okay lang yan. The goal of this um, um, video is really not to pataasa ng score, but really for you to get the full grasp of rationalization, like I said earlier. All right, board exam type of question number seven. Uh, my client is being transferred to the nursing unit for admission after receiving a radium implant for bladder cancer. Radium implant. The nurse in charge would take which priority action na naman nurses in the care of this client. So, alin dito yung magiging priority mo sa pasyenteng um, just received radium implant for bladder CA? Is it A, place a client on reverse isolation? Is it B, admit the client into a private room? Or C, encourage the client to take frequent rest periods? Or D, encourage family and friends to visit? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. What is your answer? Perfect. Letter B. Who got this one right? Put it down in the comment section below, okay? So letter B is the answer. Admit the client into a private room. Why? The client who has a radiation implant is placed in a private room and has a limited number of visitors. So you're not going to encourage family and friends to visit, okay? Kasi nga, limited ang iyong visitors. This reduces the exposure of others to the radiation therapy or the actual radiation. Malino ba yun sa inyo? Malina. That's why letter B is the right answer. Board exam type of question number eight. A newly admitted female client was diagnosed with agranulocytosis. The nurse formulates which priority nursing diagnosis. First of all, nurses, you need to understand what is agranulocytosis. Para masagutan mo to. Mamaya ipapaliwanag ko sa inyo. But, um... The way you're going to answer some of the board exam type of questions is just definition of terms. And for you, definition of terms and knowing how that the pathophysiology and the clinical manifestations um, of that particular disease. In this situation, we're talking about agranulocytosis. So what is your priority nursing diagnosis? Sa mga pasyenteng diagnosed with agranulocytosis, is it A, constipation? Is it B, diarrhea? Is it C, risk for infection? Or D, deficient knowledge? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. Yes, tama ka nga dyan. We're talking about your WBC. So, ang tagot mo dito is risk for infection. Now, Agranulocytosis is characterized by a reduced number of leukocytes or leukopenia and neutrophils or neutropenia in the blood. The client is at high risk for infection because of the decreased body defenses against microorganisms. Deficient knowledge related to the nature of the disorder may be appropriate diagnosis, but it is not a priority. So, agranulocytosis, decreased level of WBC in blood. So, you're talking about decreased defenses. That is why your client is at risk for infection. Malino yon, malino. Your next question na tayo. Your next question. Next question na nga tayo. A board exam type of question number nine. May a client is receiving a total parenteral nutrition suddenly demonstrates signs and symptoms of an air embolism. So, ang pasyente mong nagtitipin. Bigla na lang nag-demonstrate ng signs ng air embolism. Ano-ano yung mga signs na yon Naging takip na, naging ta, ta, takip na, uh, DOB. Yung mga ganyan, shortness of breath. What is the priority action by the nurse? Ano daw ang gagawin mo? Unang-una mong gagawin sa pasyente yung nag, nagmamanifest ng air, air embolism. Is it A, notify the physician? Wala ka talagang ginawa. Is it B, place the client on the left side in the Trendelenburg position? Is it C, place the client in high Fowler's position? Or D, stop the total parenteral nutrition? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, 
times up nurses what is your answer letter b place the client on the left side in the trendelenburg position ito yung rationale nurses makinig lying on the left side may prevent air from flowing into the pulmonary veins the trendelenburg position increases intrathoracic pressure which decreases the amount of blood pulled into the vena cava during aspiration. Naalala mo, ito yung pinaka-simple and una-una mong gagawin sa mga pasyente yung inpatient na nagde-develop ng air embolism, signs, signs and symptoms. Um, you're gonna place them in Trendelenburg position with that um, reason, for the reason I just said earlier, okay? So itong letter A, notify the physician, hindi mo na muna gagawin yan. Yes, pag gagawin mo siya, pero hindi yan ng iyong priority. Pag tinatanong ka ano ang action mo, madalas sa madalas, sa madalas kailangan mong kumilos dito. You're not just gonna notify the physician in right away. You need to do some um, independent nursing actions first. Malinaw yon. Malinaw. So, board exam type of question number 10. Last six questions na tayo, nurses, ha? Make it count. Nurse May attends an educational conference on leadership styles. The nurse is setting with a nurse employed at a large trauma center who states that the leadership style at the trauma center is task-oriented and directive. So, ano yung key term mo? Task-oriented and directive. The nurse determines that the leadership style used at the trauma center is, ano daw trauma, a trauma, ano daw leadership style yung kapag task-oriented and directive. Ano daw yun? Is it A, autocratic? Is it B, laissez fair? Is it C, democratic? Or D, uh, situational? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. What is your answer? Very good. Letter A, autocratic. The autocratic style of leadership is a task-oriented and directive period. Board exam type of question number 11. The physician orders DS or dextrose 500cc with KCL or potassium chloride 10 mex per liter at the rate of 30cc per hour. The nurse in charge is going to hang a 500cc bag. KCL is supplied 20 mex per 10cc. How many cc's? of KCL will be added to the sol to the IV solution. So, tinatanong ka, ilan daw ang CC ng KCL? Ang i-add mo na ko, drug calculation ito, pharma. Is it a point, uh, 0 0.5 CC? B, is it 5 CC? Is it C, 1.5 CC? Or D, 2.5 CC? Your 5 seconds starts now. Kung medyo mabilis yung 5 seconds, pwede mo namang i-pause itong video na to and mag-compute ka. Okay? Hindi naman problema yun. Pero sana nakatulong sa inyo itong mga, itong tinatawag dito, itong mga, um, uh, mga pictures dito for your guide and your study guide. Okay? Huwag mong baliwalain yan. Hindi ko yan lang nilagay dyan for no reason. So, what is the answer to this, nurse? Sino nakatama? Very good. Letter D, 2.5 cc. So, 2.5 cc is to be added because only a 500 cc bag of solution is being medicated instead of one liter. So, yun ang rationale. Malino yon. Review, review tayo sa pharma. Next, board exam type of question number 12. A child of 10 years old is to receive 400 cc of IV fluid in an 8 hour shift. So, 400 cc. 400 cc or 400 ml to run for 8 hours. The IV drip factor is 60. So, naalala mo, 10 years old, macro, micro, micro set. Kaya 60 drop factor mo. Pag, micro, pag macro set, adult yun. So, meron kang 16 or 15. Depende. Depende sa, um, depende sa SOP or depende doon sa, sa, sa hospital na pinagtatrabahoan nyo. So, the IV rate that will deliver this amount is, so, tinatanong ka, ano dong rate nito? Kapag nang given ang 400 cc to run for 8 hours in a uh, 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 drip factor of 60. Is it a 50 cc per hour? Is it b 55 cc per hour? Or c 24 cc per hour? Or d 66 cc per hour? Yung cc and ml parehas lang yun. For 5 seconds starts now.
Time's up. What is your answer? Letter A, 50 cc per hour. Now, a rate of 50 cc per hour, the child is to receive that rate because 400 cc over a period of 8 hours is equals to 80 cc per hour. Malino yon, malino. Okay, board exam type of question number 13. The nurse is aware that the most important nursing action when a client returns from surgery. So, from kanina, may tanong tayo pre op. Ngayon naman, may tanong tayo post op. Okay? So, what is the most important nursing action? Ano, ano, ano yung gagawin mo kung merong kang pasyente na just receive kaka post op lang, kaka tapos lang ng surgery? A. Assess the IV for type of fluid and rate of flow. B. Assess the client for presence of pain. Or are you gonna assess the Foley catheter for patency and urine output? May tinanong bang FC dyan? Meron ba nakalagay sa situation? Huwag kang ibento. Is it D. Assess the dressing for drainage? Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. What is your answer? Very good. Ang number one nursing prioritization mo or nursing, um, nursing assessment mo is to assess the client for presence of pain. Lahat ng post-op pasyente, lahat ng mga post-op pasyente mo, patient mo, unless they are undergoing or they're receiving PCA, yung patient-controlled anesthesia or analgesia, or kapag nakasab... Uh, uh, or kapag severely... Uh, what's this? Sedated sila. Um is always, they always have pain. So, your number one or most important nursing action is to assess your client's level of pain. Now, assessing the client for pain is a very important measure. Post-operative pain is an indication of complication. The nurse should also assess the client for pain to provide for the client's comfort. Malino yon? Malina. All right. Last two questions na nurses. Board exam type of question number 14. Which of the following vital sign assessments that may indicate cardiogenic shock after myocardial infarction? Ngayon, kung hindi mo pa napapanood itong cardiogenic shock, kung saan tinalakay ko yan, meron akong video material dyan ha. Lecture material kasama ng neurogenic shock at iba-iba pang klase ng shock. Panoorin mo sila, ililink ko yun. I, I believe under sila ng MS playlist natin. So, eh, mabalik tayo sa tanong, ano daw yung vital signs na mga pasyente mong naga-undergo o nagsasuffer ng cardiogenic shock after ng MI. Is it A, BP of 80 over 60, pulse rate of 110, irregular? Is it B, BP of 90 over 50, pulse rate of 50, regular? Is it C, BP of 130 over 80, pulse rate of 100, regular? Is it D, BP of 180 over 100, Pulse rate of 90, irregular. Your five seconds starts now. Whoo, medyo challenging ito, nurses. Tinatanong ka ng clinical manifestations to the T. Binigyan ka na ng value, numerical value. So, paano mo siya? Paano mo siya i-a-ano? Paano mo siya i-a-apply sa actual test? Ang sagot dito ay letter A. Very good. Letter A nga po ang sagot. 80, uh, blood pressure of 80 over 60, pulse rate of 110, irregular. The classic signs of cardiogenic shock are low blood pressure, rapid and weak irregular pulse, cold, clummy skin, decreased urinary output, and cerebral hypoxia. Period. Okay, last questions na nga. Galaw, 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 galaw tayo. Make this last question count. Board exam type of question number 15. Which is the most appropriate nursing action in obtaining a blood pressure measurement? Most appropriate daw in getting BP. Very simple, very funda. Okay? Most. Nako, lahat ito tama. Expect mo na lahat ito ay tama. Ma pero alin dyan yung the best? Is it A, take the proper equipment, place the client in a comfort position, and record the appropriate information in the client's chart? Is it B, measure the client's arm if you are not sure of the size of the cuff to use? Is it C, have the client recline or sit comfortably in a chair with a forearm at the level of the heart? Talaga ba? Or D, document the measurement which extremely was used and the position that the client was in during the measurement. Your five seconds starts now. Time's up, nurses. Nako, anong sagot nyo dito? Letter A. Tan -tan -tan -tan. 
Take the proper equipment nga po. Place the client in a comfortable position and record appropriate information in the client's chart. Now, it is general or comprehensive statement about the correct procedure and it includes the basic ideas which are found in the other options. Okay, so mapapansin mo dito, umbrella effect siya. Umbrella answer. It covers, it covers the letter D which is document the measurement. Record appropriate information. Have the client recline comfortable position. Client comfortable position. Umbrella effect siya. So, yun na nga, nurses. Kaya, ang sagot doon is letter A. Alright? So, doon na nga natatapos ang ating um, um, board exam, PNLE, uh, Q&A, um, Q&A portion ngayong araw na to. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Please like and share subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment it down below. Abangan nyo nga po yung next video upload natin. After 7 days, ilalagay ko ulit sila. Papanay-panayin na natin to. Pakilagay po ang score nyo sa baba because I would love to evaluate you guys. No shame, no shame. Pinaghirapan nyo yan, ilagay nyo yan sa baba. I would just also like to thank you guys so much much for for keep on supporting and subscribing and sharing my videos and i hope you guys continue to do that para may para may na nga tayo para may 12k is coming this is so unbelievable this is so amazing you guys you have no idea how much you make me happy and uh, Tulungan nyo na ako, ipamalitan nyo na sa Radyong Sira, ang pinakabago, ang pinaka-fresh, at ang pinaka-libre uh, nursing review center sa balat ng YouTube. And I'll see you again next time. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. You are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Kulto. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists that I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow Follow me in all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabe except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gabe Official. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page. Uh, the link to it is on the description box. I'll see you again next time.